Welcome back, adventurers. Forgot my button. Ugh, I hate it when I do that. Man, I need to just do the rear brake delete. I mean, rear ABS delete. Anyway, yeah, welcome back. Today's ride is featuring Brian, motorcycle teacher, guide, and, well, and just in general, awesome ADV rider dude. Just a quick plug for this dude. He owns and operates Redder Moto. So if you're ever in the need of some tuning or maybe somebody to follow you with a camera so that way you can see and reference any advice that he may have for you. The guy is just uh, super fun to ride with and has a positive mental attitude the whole friggin' day, uh, no matter what. Anyway, link down below uh, should you want to check out some of his services. And now back to the shenanigans. We're basically gathered here today because I said, hey Ryan, can you show me some shit? He said, I'll do one better. I'll not only show you some shit, but I'll videotape it and offer any advice as I follow along. Yeah. So I said, fuck it, sign me up. So the guided route today would be east to west on Johnny Park, and then south to north on Pearson Park. You know, sounded fun enough just playing in the parks. However, that wasn't before this quote-unquote warm-up ride on Button Rock B Road. I did ask for some shit, and well, the man delivered. So for anyone wondering uh, what Ryan is riding, it's a frickin' huge African twin, which yes, has side bags and is loaded with pretty much anything you could need. So, you know, my trust in what this guy has to say is pretty frickin' solid given how he handles this giant beast uh, on these trails. So, anyway, shut the fuck up, grab my popcorn, and uh, enjoy the show. So that little rock garden right there is the introduction to Johnny Park. Right off the bat, just out of camp. I realize about now that I'm about to eat some shit soup. Again, credit where credit's due. I've been looking for kind of a loop in which I could, you know, really try and up my skills. And a lot of the fears I encounter on the trail are really big lips to, you know, really compress the forks and jump over the thing like you see on all the YouTubes, but really you gotta be able to practice that. And credit to Ryan, I have now found my playground at the parks. Yes. One of the more fantastic parts about this route is that many times, as you'll see now and in the past and in the future of this video, there are two different methods in which you could ride up. I, in this case, take all of the easier routes. But in 2024, I have told myself I'm going to come back and take the more uh, challenging route. get over this cable ADV can, but today, folks, is not that day. I, of course, put the rear camera on the helmet because, well, why not? And, oh, man, just listen to it. That was a that was a great I like that. Ready? That was a that, that was a a good amount of challenge. Dirt bike would be just a blast through there. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the dirt bikes are are awesome. Well, with Johnny Park now crossed off, it's time to head on down to Pearson Park Road. Uh, essentially this is the, the road that you take if you want to head back to Estes Park for some burgers or pizza. Uh, in which case we chose pizza, but We'll get to wear later on. Hey, 
about these trails is that they are challenging however they do offer interludes in which you kind of relax your hands and such like this yeah what are you talking about standing i'm, I'm, I'm like oh yeah stand I like that I mentioned the status of my pants right before we make this left turn right here. Because this is where it would start to be the, uh, hmm, maybe we don't want to come back up this trail. Oh, we gotta come up this? So we keep mentioning about coming back up the trail. God, I hope the road is open. So, Brian tells me that Princeton Road has been closed for quite some time due to a rock slide. Which is why, as we go down these crazy ass downhills, uh, I'm contemplating life choices. Oh shit! As funny as this noise is, my, uh, I really can't wait for my battery to get When we get down to, get to the here. bottom, I got to uh, jump start my bike here. Now I've been quite happy with my performance in eating the shih tzu. However, this rock uh, would catch me oh, shit. slipping. And in turn, Mike <laughs> said, "That's a good idea. I'm gonna take a nap too." Luckily for me, the angle of the dangle would allow me to bump start T and head it down the hill. Now fully committed because I don't want to fucking go up that hill. We see if the uh, rock slide is still there. So you basically heard my lesson of the day is get your ass off the seat and stand. Here's an example of how that's important. Ryan, standing and smooth. Joe. Meh. Whoa. This sign area right here is essentially where folks have had to stop for about the past three to four years. However, now, looks clear. I gotta say, a super double-double bonus was getting to jump this log because I've wanted to for a while, but haven't really found one until frickin' today. So, after hunting around trying to find our way on the single track, we found a shaded spot to eat some lunch. And contemplate the next move. Why contemplate the next move? Because, well, that uphill straight ahead doesn't look exactly that straightforward. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. I turned at the no run lead up hill.
we'll have one of those right after our break. One of those warm-ups, as you like to say. Even though it appears I'm getting my dick kicked in, and you know, I am. I'm still having a freaking blast. Once you make it to what looks like a turnoff here, you kind of think that you may be out of the woods, however, you're not. <laughs> Damn, that was a kick. prime example of I wish I would have been following further because uh, I did not make this left as soon as I wished I had. Granted, look at that fantastic practice area there to the right. It's crazy to think that I'm six foot three and still get short leg syndrome, but you know, T7 is quite the tall lady. Thank you. After getting help picking my things up again, and completing the obstacle, uh, we set a course for Burgers and Estes Park. Uh, we ended up eating fantastic pizza, but the destination was Burgers. Survival has happened, and we have both reached civilization. After consuming an entire pizza, I was very happy I was able to load tea in the back of the truck and have a nice, relaxing trip home. Thanks so much for watching the adventures.